Winter can be a dangerous time with ice forming on the Deschutes River and Mirror Pond. The Bend Fire Department recently held a training exercise so that they're prepared for emergency ice rescues. Well, the reason it's so important for us to train is that the ice that develops around Central Oregon is usually not as thick as what we see in the Midwest. We do get people going out on the ice and we do get people and animals falling through and we need to be prepared to get those people out. For a rescuer, you know, there's, there's a mentality. Um, and we, we go in with the rescuer mentality versus the victim mentality. So we go in prepared, we've got the right equipment, the right training. The first time it's a little daunting when you go through the ice, but after that you realize that your equipment's gonna take care of you, your training's gonna take care of you, and it's really not too bad. In fact, uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to get the guys out of the water once they've uh, started training. Going out there as a firefighter, it just reminds you of uh, things that are critical for these uh, situations to be mitigated properly and efficiently, and it also puts you in the frame of mind of the victim of what they're thinking of and how they're being panicked and you know losing dexterity in their hands and just trying to get out of the, the situation. Well, when uh, somebody's falling through the ice, we can assume that the, right, the, the ice is gonna be rotten and uh, breaking apart. So it's really important for us to learn how to walk on the ice. We have different techniques for approaching the victim um, and they involve displacing the rescuer's weight um, by spreading out, crawling, even rolling, uh, doing a log roll to get out to the victim. Really with, with ice rescue and in any, any type of rescue that we perform, Good communication with the patient is vital. Um, they want to hear us be calm and self-assured. We want to give them commands and direction. We want to reassure them and let them know that we're going to get them out. So it's important for us to not appear panicky or moving quickly, but more with purpose and professionalism. The value uh, of training is just preparing for these emergencies and uh, especially for these types of emergencies that are the uh, low frequency but high risk that we don't get every day. Uh, it's really important to get out here and practice those as well. It's all thin ice around here. Um, it's, it's poorly formed ice and um, you know we've, we've had both experiences over the years, been fire department, we've been on rescues and we've had fatalities involving ice rescue emergencies. So. Yeah, there, there, there's no reason to go on the ice in Central Oregon, so um, it's best to just stay off.